All right, good morning, boys and girls. We're going to continue with our Pete the Cat treasury. And so today's story is Pete the Cat Robo Pete. What a great sunny morning. Pete can't wait to play baseball with his friends. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks Larry. I can't, says Larry. I'm going to the library. Do you want to play catch? Asks, he asks. Pete asks Camille. I was about to go for a bike ride, says Camille. Hmm. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks John. I can't right now, says John. I have to paint the fence. Pete wishes his friends would do what he was, what he wants to do. It's no fun playing catch all by yourself. If only I knew another me, Pete thinks. And like that, Pete has a great idea. What do you think his idea is? Let's find out. Pete builds a road, a robot. He programs it to be just like him. That's pretty cool. <gasps> Welcome to the world, Ro I'm sorry. Welcome to the world, Robo Pete, Pete says to the robot. You're my new best friend. We'll do everything together. And I want to play catch, says Pete. Great idea, says Robo Pete. <laughs> Pete and Robo Pete play catch. Wow, says Pete running after the ball. You sure can throw far. Robo Pete throws farther and farther until... Time out, says Pete as he tries to catch his breath. Let's play something else. I want to play whatever you want to play, play Pete. Robobot, Robo Pete says proudly. How about we play hide and seek, says Pete. That will be fun, says Robo Pete. Pete finds the best hiding place ever. He's sure Robo Pete will never find him. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, shouts Robo Pete. Ready or not, here I come. Gotcha, shouts Robo Pete, tagging Pete. Hey, how did you find me, says Pete. With my homing device, says Robo Pete. I can find anyone anywhere. Okay, enough hide and seek, says Pete. Let's play some guitar. Pete teaches Robo Pete how to play a song he made up. You have to feel the music, Pete explains. Okay, says Robo Pete. To feel it, I need to feel it. I need to play loud, explains Robo Pete. Pete pr tries to stop Robo Pete, but Robo Pete can't hear him over the noise. This is fun, this is fun, says Robo Pete. This is awful, says Pete the cat. Okay, says Robo Pete. Let's ride our skateboards instead. Before Pete can answer, Robo Pete's feet transform into a motorized skateboard with super speedy wheels. Let's go, Robo Pete shouts. Wait, calls Pete. Pete chases after Robo Pete. He has no idea when Robo, where Robo Pete is going. Robo Pete crashes into the sandbox at the playground. Are you okay? Pete asks his robot. I am a robot. I am indestructible, says Robo Pete. What is this strange place? It's a playground, says Pete. He waves to his friends. This is Robo Pete, Pete says to Callie, Larry, and John. I made him myself. Cool, says Larry. We're going to help John finish painting, says Callie, and then we're going to bike, go bike riding. I want to go on the slide, interrupts Robo Pete. Robo Pete, I, I want to help my friends paint the fence, Pete tells his robot. Paint the fence, that would be great, Robo Pete says. I am programmed to paint faster than all of than anyone. Pete and his friends try to help, but Robo Pete Robo Pete paints too fast. 
So instead, they ride their bikes and they read books. And after Robo Beat is, Pete is done painting, they help him clean the brushes. Pete realizes that it doesn't matter what they do, just being with his friends is what makes it fun. The end. All right. Again, we know Pete the Cat is reading for literature. And the characters are Pete, Robo Pete, and his three friends. And the setting is the park. And the major events, Pete's not happy because his friends aren't doing what he wants, so he makes Robo Pete. But then he discovers that Robo Pete does everything too fast. So finally, Pete joins his friends and realizes it doesn't matter what they're doing as long as they're together. All right, boys and girls, see you next time. Bye.